could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to i should be trying something new but now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. Hey guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today's video is going to be a major kitchen. Well, not major because it's not the whole kitchen, but I'm just taking baby steps little by little. So in this video, we're attacking the spice cabinet and the oil and vinegar cabinet which as you can see is a huge ginormous mess, but it's not gonna stay this way for very long. And then we're also going to get into the fridge and kind of make it a little extra and make it fancy. And it just, it looks amazing. And then also these drawers have been driving me crazy because we keep stuffing things in them and then they were getting to the point where you can't, couldn't even shut them anymore. So anyways, we're gonna work on those as well. And then these are the little containers that I bought for my spices. This came with the little labels, a little chalk marker. And then these are the little bottles, which I absolutely love. They look amazing and it just looks so good in my spice cabinet now. It also came with a funnel. And then these are the little containers that I bought. Um, all of this stuff, by the way, is from Amazon. Those are for the fridge. And then these little dispensers are for my oil and vinegar, which I love because uh, it has measuring in that little cup and it goes up to, I think, three teaspoons and then a tablespoon. So I'm super excited about that and I've been loving them. So here we're just going to get into the spice cabinet and go through my spices. They were just out of control and whenever I went to cook, I just, I hated going into that cabinet because it was, again, so out of control. I literally found one of these. I think I was like, oh my God, this one right here. It was like 2014 and expired. So I was going through decluttering things, looking through to see if I was, what I was using, what I wasn't using. And I'll get to that in a minute. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and take everything out, look and see what we got and what we're working with and start with a fresh slate and fresh empty cabinets. So as you can see, the second thing that I did after taking everything out was go ahead and start putting my spices in my new jars, which look amazing. I loved these jars when I picked them out. This is the reason why I wanted them was because they had the labels already printed uh, for the top and then also for the actual jar. And they also have some where they are blank. So if you have something specific that they don't have printed out or pre-labeled, um, you can totally do it yourself. Um, so I love these. I uh, got them from Amazon. Again, I will link them down below along with everything else that you see in this video that is new. Baby, no, I don't want to go. You know how much I hate sleeping alone. I can never make it on my own. I 
I love that the jars came with side labels. However, they were just a little bit too small for my preference. I figured that when I was, it was hard enough for me to read them as I was looking at them like this, let alone trying to cook and trying to decipher between onion powder and garlic powder and all the others. So what I decided to do was go ahead and take my label maker out and put the late, my label maker labels on the side of the jar and they came out looking beautiful and I absolutely love the way that they turned out. use nutmeg often so I did not want to put it in the other container or other bin where the other spices that I don't use as often is going to go and the red top on there was just not working for me so what I ended up doing was taking a white top from I think some sprinkles and I switched the tops around so that way my nutmeg could look pretty and look good with the other spices. I am just about ready to start putting my spices back in the cabinet. So I went ahead and I wiped my little spinny thing down. And then I also wiped that part of the cabinet. And then I started putting my spices in there. And it literally makes me so happy to look at this. This looks so much better than how it did. And it's so much easier to find what I'm looking for without having to search for 30 minutes. I mean, seriously, it looks so amazing. So go ahead right now, go down to the comment section and go ahead and hype your girl up and tell her how amazing you think it looks too. And when I say her, obviously I mean me and I don't know why I just said her. So go down to the comment section and hype me up, please. Thank you. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to position the oil and the vinegar and did I want it on the spinny thing or did I want it to the side and I just figured that I would because the oil was so tall I would put it to the side and then the vinegars would go on the spinny tray so here I am just pouring the vinegar into the little container I love these bottles by the way I love the fact that they have like the little you can squeeze them on the side and then here you have the measuring part and then you just empty it out basically or pour it out I love it I love it however however on the oil it is not designed as well as the ones for vinegar for some reason because the oil literally leaks out on the side and gets all over everything not all over everything just it gets all over the bottle so it is kind of a little bit frustrating 
but I personally still love them. I just wanted to put that out there because I don't want to recommend something without telling you guys the drawbacks before you go ahead and purchase and then you purchase then you're like well wait a minute I don't like this so I just wanted to be honest and upfront with you guys I personally love them I don't however like the aspect of that for the oil but it's something I deal with because I love them so much but here I am just labeling my little misto which I highly recommend and I will link that down below too it's amazing you literally just put oil in it and it sprays and it reduces you don't have all of the extra chemicals that the other aerosol spray oils have um anyways i'm just washing these other oil and vinegar containers uh the two that i that you've already seen i those were already washed but these two i got out of the box and i hadn't washed those yet So this is what this side looks like. Again, I am obsessed with how this turns out. I literally could not be happier. So anyways, I am just taking the rest of the overflow and the things that I don't use on a regular basis. And I'm just putting them in these baskets that I ended up putting in the, I have this little, like, little entertainment center. It has these little cabinets and there was really nothing much in there. So that's where I ended up putting all of these spices, which is just in my front hallway. So it's not that far from the kitchen. One of a kind, one of the better boys I'm on your level, that's what you say But all I hear is noise I don't have time for trying my luck I've been too hurt before You're not that special Just give it up, I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter you do guess i have to tell you again cause you haven't got the news but you really need to understand that i don't want to be your girl so i just cleaned off this second shelf so i can get to organizing all of the things that i took off of there and normally i would get up on a step stool or something like that and do this what my son is doing right now but I am six weeks post-op from having a hysterectomy which is a major surgery so I just didn't want to chance it so he was there he's young he got on the chair everything's good to go so we're just going to go ahead and finish taking everything out and then I had him wipe down the second and third shelf and then also the cabinet doors inside and out Here I 
am just labeling these two little baskets so I know what's in there without having to pull them down. And I'm trying to reorganize to do what's most functional for me, but then also it looks pretty as well. By the way, I did not know that those stickers on those little Dollar Tree mixing bowls came out or came off as easy as they do. Because if I would have known that, I would have taken them off. For some reason, I thought they were hard and that they weren't coming off, which is why it was always on there. Anyways, this looks so incredible. It looks so amazing. And I'm just so incredibly pleased with how it turned out. And here are some super, super satisfying before and afters. Such a major difference and I'm just so happy, especially because not only does it look pretty, but it's super functional for me and my family. So anyways, now it's time to just clean off the island and clear it off a little bit. I wanted to mention that this microfiber that I'm holding in my hand, y'all, it is the best microfiber cloth that I've ever used in my life. I have officially been converted because if you know me and you know my house, you know, A, I have a lot of mirrored furniture in my house and B, I'm always using paper towels to wipe down my counters, my glass, all that stuff. These are game changers, legit, not even kidding. And I didn't even intend to buy them. What I did was I went on to QVC because I saw that they were advertising a bottle cleaner and I needed something to clean my water bottle out. And it just so happened that these microfiber cloths came with the bottle cleaner. They've literally been sitting in the drawers of my kitchen, I don't know how many months. And I finally just pulled them out to use on this day. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are amazing. And then my son the other day used them all over the mirrors and the, the mirrored furniture and completely like wow no little dust particles from the paper towels no streaks amazing these are highly recommended I'm going to try to see if I can find the actual company and just link the microfibers down below but yeah they are so good they're probably going to be a little more expensive but y'all I'm telling you they're thick they're absorbent they are just the best microfiber I've ever ever come across and it was complete accident. I feel like those are the best products. Those are the best products to come across are the ones that you didn't even intend to come across. So anyways, we're going to work on these drawers. They have been driving me nuts and they have never been organized. And every single time I open them, they're getting to the point where I can't even shut them. no idea what happened to the footage of me organizing and decluttering the second drawer my camera must have cut off and I didn't realize it but that's a little show of what it ended up looking like and wow can I say just so much better I can actually open and close it so we're we're off to a real good start here falling in love you set my wheels in motion I'm going crazy for
This is what they ended up looking like and they look amazing. Now, I know I need some organizers and I'll work on that. I'm trying to find the perfect organizer. So if you guys know of any, let me know. I ordered some from Amazon, but I don't know if they're really going to work for me. But here is a reminder as to what these three drawers look like before. And then again, here is the beautiful after. Looks so amazing. Just again, so excited that I can actually open my drawers and close them. So here are the two drawers next to the stove. These ones weren't too, too bad. And again, if you guys know of a really good drawer organizer for just like cooking utensils, not eating utensils, cooking utensils, let me know in the comments down below because I don't know where to get one but I definitely want one and I need one that has like a couple of different compartments. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that hobby bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, babe. Can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures you're all So this is what they ended up looking like um, Like I said, I would love to find an organizer For my kitchen utensils But that drawer I think looks really great And it doesn't need anything So Here's just a reminder of what it used to look like. Like I said, it wasn't too, too bad and it wasn't like a drastic difference, but it was pretty, pretty good, especially that drawer right there. That drawer came out really good, but yeah, all of my kitchen, I try to declutter, but I literally use everything. So I didn't declutter. I don't think really anything out of that drawer, but here we are just moving on to the fridge. And like always, I am going to take everything out and start fresh with a clean slate. Then I'm gonna get in there and I'm going to wipe down. This was, it was like towards the end of the day, so I ended up not getting to the produce or the meat drawers or the sides of the fridge. So that will be in the next video as well. But yeah, I didn't wanna bore you with a continuation of me taking things out of the fridge, so I just cut to me wiping everything down. I used a vinegar water mix and then the amazing microfiber cloth that I was telling you guys about. Seriously, it's the best. And then I also have this little scraper that was helping me to get some bits off the fridge, which I actually still need to go back in and get more. Like I said, I was just on a time crunch because this was the end of the night and I was just kind of ready to be over. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different.
So now it's time to move quickly and get all of the food back into the fridge. And I also put a lot of the food, condiments, things like that in the little fridge organizers that I showed you guys earlier in the video that of course will be linked down below. And I ended up taking some of the condiments that either I don't use a lot, but I still feel like I need to have on hand or condiments that I have overflow of. I have a, a second fridge out in my garage, so I put a lot of uh, condiments out there too. So you're gonna see that maybe, I think, in a little bit where I had a bunch in the little containers, uh, the organizers, and then I was like, eh, this isn't gonna work. So I ended up taking a bunch out to the fridge in the garage. I remember those days we were young and had nothing to do I used to pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say but we didn't mind Cause we could lay on the ground and just stare into each other's eyes And I Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your ripped jeans I can still see it all We ran on top of buildings Just like a scene from a movie Living our life on the edge And we'd never trip and fall we'd never trip multitasking at its finest you guys I am literally cooking dinner while I'm doing all of this I didn't even realize it until I saw myself and I was like what am I doing and I'm like oh yeah I was cooking dinner anyways these are some labels that I know I know it's extra but y'all it seriously looks so good in my fridge and now everything will have a spot so it's just gonna be it's just gonna be amazing so again I got these labels off of Amazon yes they're extra no you don't need them yes they look amazing and yes I recommend they look so good Remember when you kissed me I felt the taste of your lipstick Even the breath of your lip So this is the finished product and yes I rearranged some of the labels because I realized it was they were wrong. Um and I also realized that yes my bread bin says snacks but they didn't have a label that said bread. So anyways, this is the before and then this is the after. It's not a huge difference because it's still really loaded and kind of messy, but it's a little more organized and it's a little more functional for me where I know where everything is. So anyways, we're done with all the organization. Now we're gonna get to some kitchen cleaning and this stovetop was a mess. So we're gonna go ahead and get some cleaner on it and do some scrubbing. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down 
now moving on to cleaning out the sink. I got this little fancy glove that's like so cool. You can do so many things with this. You can wash your car with it. You can wipe out your sink. You could probably wipe out your bathtub, like literally anything. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the sink with some soap and my little fancy glove. And then we will get to moving on over to vacuuming and we will be finished, finally. So that will do it for this video. I love the fact that not only does the outside of my kitchen look good, but most of the inside of everything looks good too. But we're going to tackle the rest of the kitchen in the next video. So I hope that you guys are excited for that and stick around for that. So if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you guys found this video inspirational and motivational or motivational, then go ahead and click that thumbs up button, share this video and leave me a comment down in the comment section. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.